Okay, can you just like make yourself a bit taller? I was trying to like match up to you. Okay, there we go. okay, that's cool. Cool. So, hello and welcome to Spinster's Library. I'm Claudia. And I'm Robin the Guest Spinster. Robin the Guest Spinster. And I've just, uh, this is a video that I wasn't planning to record with Robin, but then I thought actually it'd be more fun to do that with her. And this is uh, one way I'm going to pick my next read. So, I'm, I kind of fancy picking up a thriller just because uh, I'm going to read a lot of Jane Austen coming up and it'd be nice to have something that contrasts, you know, to Jane Austen to read during July. And I've just thought of a really good idea. Really? Okay. So these are three books that I have read and have recommended and lent to Claudia. Ah. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to tell Claudia which one is which. <gasps> so I'm just going to read the first line without her seeing which book I'm reading from. Okay, I like and that. And that's what you're going to choose I from. like that. So my idea was uh, picking my next read based on the first sentence, but originally, you know, filming this by myself, I would have just read out the first sentence to you and then picked based on that. Yeah. But now that Robin can do it, actually we can like blindfold me or something, and you can read them out to me, Yeah. and then I'll pick based entirely on the first sentence without knowing anything about the books, but before we actually get to the first sentence, do you want to just give a short introduction for each of the books? Yeah, sure. Because obviously you have read them all. In fact, I believe these are all your copies. They are actually all my copies. <laughs> so um, this one is called The Beautiful Dead by Belinda Bauer. Bauer, Bauer. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really interesting kind of, um, it's a really twisted novel about um, like a serial killer using a kind of, basically the the protagonist has like a lot of publicity so it's how the serial killer uses that publicity to publicize himself and yeah it's, oh, but i don't okay. want to say too much more but it's a really interesting way right. of like good and evil mm -hmm. twisting and like making you know using each other for selfish purposes it's, i don't know it's quite interesting Sounds so I, I really enjoyed this this was actually um given to me um by our friend ellie She's. I don't know if she read it, but she definitely said I should. I should read it. So. Mm -hmm. And you did enjoy it. I did really enjoy it. Cool. So that's um, the beautiful dead. Into the water. Really interesting book by Paula Hawkins. I didn't know what to make of it, which is why I really want you to read it because okay. I just couldn't. It took me a while to read. I found it very hard to wrap my head around it, and it was very much based around water so there's lots of you know interesting kind of um links back to kind of you know drowning and perhaps even witches that kind of thing um but it's it's kind of a, a story based on a family and a community and how they work around this kind but of but it's still a thriller right it's still a okay. it's still a thriller but a very slow one i would say uh -huh. So, Sounds good to me. Yeah, so I, I didn't know what to make of it because if you ask me one day, I'll say I really liked it. Another day, I might say I just didn't really get it and I don't really know. Okay. <laughs> so it's one of those that I'm curious Do you think it might of... just be too clever? Too clever for me, like? <laughs> I think it was just... I don't know. Okay. You'll see. You'll right, see. I'll see. And then Claire McIntosh, Let Me Lie. Oh, I love Claire McIntosh. That's why I got this hardback when it came out. Um, She's the only author out of these three that I've actually read previously. Yeah. So um, I really don't know what to say without giving it away. It's the only thing I can <laughs> say really about Claire McIntosh's writing is that you feel like you kind of have kind of got the gist of what's happening and oh, then she just goes, boo, 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 boo. no, you're wrong. So really, really <laughs> cool, really interesting, very much a roller coaster journey and I love Claire McIntosh. So anyone who likes thrillers, this is your girl. Okay. So, so just can I just tell you based on the cover, which of these yeah. speaks to me straight away is this one. Yep. Because I think the butterflies are such a cool motif on this. And uh, these two look quite samey. These look, look like the typical thriller cover. You know, yeah, you've got the yeah, dark yeah. blue and like contrast and stuff. But just based on the cover, I would probably pick up this one. But obviously, that says nothing about what's inside. Yep. So, so uh, we could either have... It's up to you. Do you want to just turn your back or do you want yeah, to... Yeah, I'm just going to close my eyes because uh, I, I don't want anything hot on my face right now. Okay, can you like turn... I'm, I'm genuinely... I have my eyes closed. I can't see anything. Well... You don't trust me, Robin. <sighs> okay, are we ready? Yes. Do not open your eyes until no, I tell no, you no, to no, do no, so. No, no. So hang on, so, uh, have uh, we explained uh, what we're doing? Yes, yes. you read out the and, first sentence. And so for the audience, I'm going to show you the book that I'm going to read the line yeah, of, so yeah, that's yeah. why you have to keep your eyes yeah, shut. Yeah, I have got And your god, please. Thank you. You can tell I'm a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
the first line I would like to read for you. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Again, again! Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> again, again. Uh huh. In that silly voice of yours. Yep. Again, again. Okay, it's meaningless. Okay. Not impressed. The, se the second. <laughs> No, no, can we talk about the line again, again? No! It's a shit first line. <laughs> it says nothing. Is it? Is this dialogue? Can you tell me at least if it's in... in... It's dialogue. Do you want me to read the first two then? No. For that no, one? No, 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 no. That defeats the purpose of this. Okay. But come on. I mean, like, every author knows the first line has to, like, you know, pack a punch. Do you want to know the name of the chapter? No. Okay. So literally all you're getting <laughs> Just is... Just the first line. Again, again! And it's dialogue. Yeah. Okay. Second one. Uh, ah. <clears throat> Death does not suit me. Okay, that's more like it, isn't it? Death does not suit me. Is that dialogue again? Uh, uh, I think it's just written in the first person. First person, okay. Yeah. Right, death does not suit me. That's better than again, again, okay? <laughs> but again, it's a bit of a trope. It's a bit of a cliche. It's I don't even know what that means. Does that mean that uh, being covered in blood doesn't suit me because I've just murdered someone? <laughs> does it mean that being in mourning maybe doesn't suit me? What does death does not suit me actually mean? <laughs> again, it like it sounds a bit cool, but I don't think there's much substance there. What? That totally would draw me in. Okay, fine. And then last but not least... Let's see. I'm so curious now. <laughs> it's uh, better impress me. <laughs> um, wait, where's it? So sometimes they have... Okay, yeah, no, we're gonna go straight to the actual first line. Okay. Wait, does it have <laughs> I'm like gonna a... love this! <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> Layla Martin's shoes were killing her. <laughs> that, there we go! <laughs> there we go! That's what I'm talking about. Really? Yes. Really? This is good. Do you know why it's good? Why is it because good? Because obviously, oh, is there a cat here? Yeah. Oh, oh hey, which one? Are you Where's the front? <laughs> oh, God. Is this the right way up? Yeah. Is this the right way I was expecting an oh. ass in your face. <laughs> obviously, it's Minerva because she's really soft. <laughs> uh, can you read the line out again? Um, Layla Martin's shoes were killing, were killing her. her. This is really funny because this is a thriller, right? <laughs> so you don't know if this is literally or metaphorically killing her. If she's like wearing the most ridiculous heels and you know, you say, oh, my shoes are killing me. Or if there's like knives sticking out of the shoes, you know, <laughs> or maybe... What um, kind of thrillers do you read? I don't think... <laughs> really read thrillers can you tell also can I open my eyes again now? yeah <laughs> yeah so I think that's a really good line because that makes you wonder about what situation she's in you know maybe she's just had a really long day at work in her heels or, or maybe there is some more literal sense to this and that I find intriguing so what are you gonna read first the last one the last one yeah what is it you know yourself too well ha 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 so um <laughs> Claire McIntosh was the one who wrote Death Does Not Suit Me. Okay. And then Into the Water. Into the was Water. The, the shit one. Again, again! <laughs> Where are my glasses? Where did I put them? I'll just put these on this bed. <laughs> Yay! So you will be reading okay. The Beautiful Dead next. Alright. But yeah, no, see, that makes me want. That, that, that really. I did find that more intriguing, okay? Um, and I will be reading this uh, probably starting this evening. Sweet! Whoop whoop! Yeah. <laughs> have you ever, um, this is for viewers now, yes. have you ever done anything like this before? Is it something you would consider doing? I've certainly not considered it before, but actually I think it's a really good idea. Do you think so? Because I yeah. think it's a really bad idea for picking your next read, generally speaking. I think, but the thing is, especially with these three, like, you yeah. know they're going to be, they're, all three of them, there's a reason why I've recommended yes. them. So you know that they're not going to be shit. But I, it's not random selection. No, and it's, like, narrowed down in terms of genre. Yeah. So I, th I feel like if you do it that way, it's really good. Yeah, that's true. You're yes. getting what you want to read next, it's just which one. <laughs> I'm very much of a mood reader, right? Like, normally, unless there's, like, a readathon or something, I'm, I pick up a book based on what I feel like reading. And yeah. I felt like reading some thrillers. So yesterday, I picked up these three from my TBI, I put them on my desk, that's why you spotted them uh -huh. when, when Roman came to visit me. Um, so I know I'm in the mood for a thriller and I guess it's 
as arbitrary a way of deciding between them as anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Next time we can do one based on the on the tagline. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because all of these have got like a little tagline, uh, <laughs> you know, next to the title. But yeah, that was really fun. But I'm really, really disappointed, Paul Hawkins. I mean. <laughs> You have to have a punchy first line in a book. That was fun. That was fun. I like the surprised cat. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Cool. <laughs> Got anything else to say about this? No. I'm just curious to see if any of your viewers have read any of these books. Oh, yeah. Because I really enjoy chatting about books that I've read. Also, do you disagree with my choice? Does anyone genuinely think that again, again is a good first line? <laughs> Happily argue in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Good. Cool. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye.